His arms are 20 inches, thighs 24 inches. He can lift about a thousand pounds, has broken world records, and won the title of Germany's strongest man in 2011. How did he get so buffed? Plants. All the way from Berlin, please welcome the author of How to Become Woo! a Vegan Badass, Patrick Baboominen. <laughs> so, all right. First things first, I have to ask, since we are the doctors, how and when did you decide to become a vegan? Uh, well, I was a vegetarian before. So I went vegetarian, I think, back in 2005. So okay. it's quite, quite some time ago. Um, and the, it was just mainly ethical con considerations. I, I always loved animals, and at uh, some point I just realized that I was putting a lot of time and energy in you know, rescuing wildlife and, and, and trying to help some animals. Uh, and at the same time, I was eating other animals. So I just thought, well, that doesn't make a lot of sense. And that was the first step. And then six years later, I just came to the realization that um, I was not eating meat, but I was still you know, having dairy products and having eggs and so on. And if you take a look at how these animals are you know, basically hold and, 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 and race and everything, uh, it's not really what you want to support if, you wanna, you know, if your goal is to reduce animal suffering. But you actually say when you went from being a vegetarian to being a vegan, things like your iron levels actually improved, which, yeah. you know, conceptually, you might scratch your head and think, okay, so your health actually improved in these certain parameters where people will often worry about iron, yeah. for instance, if they are on a vegetarian or vegan diet. Can you talk to us about how the transformation worked for you and here you not only um, maintained your strength but got stronger? When I was vegetarian, I had, a, I had actually a chronic iron deficiency. Um, and when I went vegan, that went away. Uh, but I wasn't, you know, eating, you know, I wasn't getting more iron than before. The only thing that changed was I wasn't having as much dairy as before. Mm -hmm. And if you have tons of dairy, that actually blocks your iron intake. So when I was deficient as a vegetarian, I would even take iron supplements and the, defici the deficiency wouldn't go away. So even if I would have eaten meat, it wouldn't have helped because the, the, the dairy was the problem. So. It, it highlights a uh, most important concept in nutrition, whether you're talking about foods or supplements, it's not what you take, it's what you absorb. And yeah. certainly that is the case with iron. Most people say, eat meat to get strong. How, how do you do it and how much do you eat <laughs> <laughs> to maintain this strength that you need to win these strongman competitions? For instance, with the protein, I just eat tons of legumes. And you know, like uh, beans uh, can have 25 grams of protein per 100 grams that's just as much as, as meat has. So it's not, you know, uh, and then this idea that you would have to eat uh, a huge amount of stuff, mm -hmm. that really just comes from uh, people thinking that if you're plant-based, you're eating carrots and broccoli and, and salad the whole day. And I love that that's, you're, that's you're getting rid of that sort of myth, which is twigs and berries, there's more to it than just that. So what do you say to kids? What do you say to kids who... Eat your beans. <laughs> eat your beans? Yeah. If you make no other change, even if just literally starting once a week, you replace a meat meal with beans, and then maybe you go from there. Um, you know what? You may not end up as strong as Patrick, but you can still no. yep. be a strong man <laughs> or woman. Or you can catch Patrick in the hit documentary, The Game Changers. It's on Netflix now. And before you go... All right. <laughs> I watched you in this movie. Okay. You are strong. <laughs> and I happened to see something over here that you brought yeah, with you. Yeah, we brought a yoke. Okay. So let me, wow. let me show. <laughs> okay, so this is something that we have in the film. Um, it's called a yoke, and this is something that I did a world record with in 2013. I think if we have a few people who want to join, want to do it? Okay. We're not going to talk about the weight that is now <laughs> on the yoke, but uh, I would say just... Uh, has everyone, is everyone stable? Yeah. yeah, can we, can we go? Okay, then let's just go for a travel. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Wow, that was amazing. Thank you so much. No, I'm not doing it. It was very oh, light. I, I, I get it. I can't even. <laughs> We, it's probably too low. It, you, you should probably, you, you, you're much taller I'm than sure I am. I'm sure that's it, Patrick. Real pleasure having you all. Keep Thank up you. the great work. Thank you all so much.